let's go. They've got everything. Everything caravan and camping. They've got everything. Yeah, g'day team and welcome to our Everything Caravan and Camping podcast sponsored by ECC Parks. My name's Scotty Hillier from Channel 7 and each week we're going to take you to a different destination around this great country of ours. We're going to get you there safe with our weight and towing masterclasses. We've got tech tips. We're going to chat to influencers and we're also going to chat to you, the listeners. We want to hear your stories. We want to hear your questions and every week. We're going to chat to the greatest chef ever given an open fire and a set of tongs, none other than Harry Fisher from Fire to Fork. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Come on. Now, ECC, it's a 24-7 marketplace for all things caravanning, camping, and four-wheel driving. With more than 10,000 products available from hundreds of popular brands, you'll find everything you need for your next outdoor adventure. Don't forget, subscribe to the newsletter and save a further 10% off the best brands, products, and prices. They're only a click away. Come on. Let's go. Everything caravan and camping. Okay, that time of the podcast, it's all about weight towing masterclasses, making sure that if you're heading off on a journey, if you're coming back, you're travelling from A to B to C, you're doing it safe and with peace of mind. And the great Dave Lewis is here to help. How are you, buddy? Great, Scotty. How are you? How yeah. was your Christmas? Yeah, it was good, mate. No, it was good. The use, I probably ate too yes. much and drank too much. But yep. look out, Mom, I'm calorie deficiting. Is that, is that's a big word, yeah, isn't no. it? <laughs> oh, I think we've all got to do it, mate, but it's a great, great no, time of year to see no, the family. It was and good. Everything. And, mate, the vans on the road, the RVs, oh, my God. Yes. If it's not yep. if it's not still thriving, I give up. It's, it is crazy. Yeah. And you must be that's hearing right. and seeing it as well, mate. So what are we, what are we going to chat about today, mate? So I suppose, Scotty, I'm in the business of weighing caravans. So yep. a lot of people ask me, do you see many cars, caravans that are overweight? And yes, I do. A lot of them are. But again, once again, it's all about getting your car and your caravan weighed and knowing where you are. And if you are over some of those compliance ratings, then there are certain ways you can fix it, obviously, by reducing the weight in the car or the caravan and things like that. But where people ask me, like, what's the most common thing? I would have to say... It's the caravan being overweight. So the caravan's got the table weight, the weight on the wheels, and then the aggregate trailer mass, or ATM. So the ATM is the loaded weight of the caravan disconnected from the car. That would probably be the most common one I see overweight, simply because we all want to take the the coffee machine and we want to take yeah. all the other stuff in our caravan, and we've only got a certain amount of, of weight and, and things we can put in it. When you talk about that weight, Dave, is that with all your water full, or do you weigh that... So you, that water's got to be full, yep. everything's full. Yeah, Yeah. so what I usually suggest, Scotty, is when we weigh a car in a caravan, I usually suggest to people have it as if you were ready to go away on a short trip. So yeah. the car's full of fuel, yep. caravan's full of all your camping gear, yep. all your food, pots and pans, and the water tank's full. Now, once, once we weigh it, if it's over that weight, then obviously you've got to look at how you can reduce that weight. All caravans will have a certain amount of payload. So the payload of the caravan... When on the compliance plate, we have the tear weight, which is the unladen weight of the caravan. Yep. We also have the aggregate trailer mass, or ATM, which is the loaded weight of the caravan. Now, if the caravan, say, the tear weight is 2,000 kilos and the loaded weight, or the ATM, is 2,600 kilos, that means you've got a payload of 600 kilos yeah, that okay. you can put in the van, which, you know, Scotty, it sounds like a lot of weight, but I can tell you now that a lot of people well, that have a caravan with a 600 kilo payload, most people will probably have between five and 600 kilos of gear in that caravan, including their water. So yeah, wow. it adds up very quickly. And as you said, the coffee machine, the clothes, the couple of bottles of wine, the couple of cartons of beer, and before you, it's quite easy to get to. And eat, like oh, quick, my word. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And when you put it all in, like your bedding, when, when you travel overseas or you know all about travelling on aeroplanes, the amount of travel you do, like yeah. you probably, yeah. anywhere between 15 to 20 kilos domestically is pretty much a normal payload of, uh, a normal amount of clothes that you would take. So yeah. if you've got two people travelling going around Australia, a retired couple going Australia, yeah. around Australia, winter and summer, they've potentially got 40 kilos of clothes there. Yeah, between. Yeah. And then the Weber barbecue, 16 and a half kilos. Yeah. I and mean, you mentioned the cart and the beer is 13 kilos. So as all this stuff goes in, yeah, that's right. we've only got a certain amount of payload we can put in it, but we can manage that payload. But a lot of times if we weigh a car and a caravan and the caravan's over, my suggestion usually is to people is to have a bit of a cull. Go through, they yeah. open up 
every cupboard in that caravan and just see what's in there that you don't really absolutely have to take. Yeah, and if you don't yeah. really, if you don't use it, then I really need to stay at home. And what are some of the things, Dave? If you if people haven't had the check with yourself or Van Safe or whatever, yep. and they're over the Van six hundred and they've got eight hundred in there, what are some of the what are some of the things the yep. van may do on the road behind you? Is it going to sway more? Is it? What are some telling signs? Yeah, so sway in a caravan be caused by a number of things. Probably the main thing I see is a ball weight that's not heavy enough, in other words. So with a caravan, if a caravan, say, fully loaded, weighs about 3,000 kilos, we'd want about 10% of that weight on the table, so about 300 kilos. Now, if the ball weight's 200 kilos, then potentially that caravan could get into a sway position before the start of the line. But as far as what we're putting in the caravan, we don't want to exceed those compliance ratings because there are, in the design of that caravan, there's a maximum allowable weight you can have on the wheels, there's a maximum allowable weight on the table, and you add those two together, and that's the maximum allowable weight of the caravan or the aggregate trailer mass, the ATM. So yeah, okay. you know, we want to make sure that we don't exceed those capacities so that we know that the caravan's going to behave properly and we're not actually overloading it. Yeah, true. God. And it's easy to do. So people need to come and either see yourself, attend a few of the van safe. Yep. So, mate, give us your details again, because I know there's people out there listening saying, oh, Martha, we've got to get we've got to get the van checked before you go away. So how can we get you? Yeah, the website is mobilecaravanwaying.com.au. Our phone number is 0477-89-7700. We've got four licensed operations, one in Darwin, one on the Gold Coast, one in Toowoomba one on Coffs Harbour and one in Brisbane, which I look after. So it's all on our website. So by all means, if anyone, even if people want to ring us up and have a chat about something that okay. they don't understand, we're more than happy to have, give that free information away. Only, we're only a phone call away, so it's a matter of just yeah. giving us a call and talk you through it. Yeah, Dave, and I'm just flicking through emails here, and I've got one question here. And if you are over, like if you yep. are over the – and something, God forbid, goes wrong, yep. you would null and void your insurance, wouldn't you, if you are over yep. the correct weight? Yeah, that's right, Scotty. My angle on it has always been, yes, you could impact your insurance if yeah. the insurance company could prove that you that it was overweight. Yep. Look, in um, certain states, there are fines that you can you can get, obviously, if you overload yeah. the car or the caravan. My attitude with it is, yes, while well, those things could happen, my attitude is that it's all about road safety and it's all about you and your loved ones in that car. Yeah. We don't want to make we the car is designed and the caravan for that matter are designed to operate under a certain load. Now yeah. if we exceed that load, we don't know how it's gonna is it gonna break the way it should be breaking or all the safety yeah. features gonna operate. That's my main angle on is it's all about the safety, safety factor of yeah, the, no, yeah, no, the, no, the occupants of the car and the other road users for yeah, that matter. Hundred percent. Good on you Dave. Chat again next week my friend. Thanks Scotty. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Okay, we've dragged a great man up from down south again. He's in the studios. Ladies and gentlemen, there's actually a crowd out there waiting to see and talk to him because Charlie's tech tips are going gangbusters on our ECC podcast. Mate, I bring, I try and bring the goods. Did you pay those people out there with autographed books and waiting to get a... I said that you were going to go out and... <laughs> oh, they're going to run now. <laughs> they're running. But what do you got? You've had some cracking little gizmos. And you know what? The biggest thing, and we're getting a lot of feedback, is it's not expensive. Exactly. Uh, and not- some of the things I've brought on for the everyday person, That's if you're right. just starting out, this is one of the yeah. things you just need. makes it a little bit more comfortable. Exactly. And I'm guessing this is going to be another one. <laughs> so this one is actually for those people out there that don't want to wire up things in their vans, because obviously when you first buy your van, yeah. you need a brake controller. Yeah. Okay. And now Y Tire has come out with a remote version of that. What? So brake controller on the trailer. Yep. Up the front. Used to be the big, yeah, as you say, so, the wires and connected. That's it. Blah, blah, blah. So traditionally, most cars, you're looking about two, three hours install. You're yeah. pull, pulling apart half the dash yeah. to mount it in now. With Y-Type, yeah. none of that anymore. What? So your van will come with electric brakes. Yeah. All you need now is to have this as part of your, literally goes in between your plugs. Yep. And then in your OBD2 scan socket inside the car. Yeah. And away you go. Wow. And it's, it's just changing. remote brake controlling. Unreal. Wow. So people, yeah. Because that's one of the big questions <clears throat> people ask. Got this size van, it's this weight, now we're going to need the electric brakes, we're going to have to do this to the car. No. Yep. It's all done on its own electric out the back there. That's it. There's nothing, no wiring up anymore, no getting under the car, in the car. It's just pl- literally yeah. plug and play. Wow. 
everything caravancamping.com.au where you can find it. And Waito, they also have caravan security locks as well. Mm. And I've seen this work. Yeah. We, we put it to the test. Yeah. So what you do is you plug this in when you leave your trailer. And if someone does try to decide to do the naughty and come yeah. and try and tow it away, it detects that movement. And because you don't have the matching pair with that vehicle that's trying to yeah, take, take it, it will then lock the brakes on the van. So if you see a van go, or I just smoke a rubber. Yeah. <laughs> it's not <laughs> is. And it turns all the lights on, has a big loud siren. Does it really? Yep. And it's an alarm, security it's, alarm. It's a security alarm for your mobile home. There you go. You have got everything, Charlie. We try to have When I come back in my next, I want to come back as you. You've got everything. <laughs> all right, mate, it's been a pleasure, and we will chat next week. Talk then, Scotty. <laughs> Let's go. Everything caravan and camping. Okay, that time of the ECC podcast. We catch up with influencers and this lady's a big influence. Yeah? A big influence on a lot of people. Hello, Chrissy from Caravan in Queensland. Hey there, Scotty. Life's good, isn't it? It is. Well, I'm a bit, as you can, actually, funny you say that, as you can hear my voice a bit raspy, life was very good over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still suffering. But, uh, well, how have you been? You been good? Yeah, yeah, life's been treating me good. Busy, busy. Weather's great. It's all been good, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Now, Caravan in Queensland, you guys run the, the biggest and the best trade shows throughout the year. Mm, and I know you get big, big support through Leisure Tech, Mike Coolman, and and they're a big supporter of you guys as well, aren't they, as sponsors? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah they come on board with our, all of our official industry events, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's mm. good. And, and talking industry events, they just seem to be – people are continually saying, Chrissy, oh, the caravanning bubble, it's slowed up a bit, but we turn up at these shows and it's going to happen again this year, but people come out in their droves. Why, why is it good for people to, to come and, and check out these shows, the RV lovers? The- yeah, it's the perfect opportunity to be able to see everything all in the one place. Yeah. I mean, you could spend your time driving from yard to yard, but this super show, you can come along, all the major brands are there. Yep. You can look, touch, feel, get inside it. You can basically make your choice with everything in front of you. I often talk to Jason as well, and but as you say, people do their research at home and they like a van on the Gold Coast. They like a van at Ipswich. They like a van. But as you just said, mm. at these shows and the Super Show, middle of the year, they're all there. Within a kilometre and a half, you've, you're seeing all of them. <laughs> it, it, like it's it's special. Yeah, it makes it easy. Absolutely. Yeah. It really makes that research journey just that little bit easier because the average person spends about two years researching what sort of van they want. Yeah. And to be able to have that list and have it all them all located in the one location, it's so convenient. Yeah, no, we love the shows. And I'm always there, blabbing away on the microphone or telling people how good I am or eating. <laughs> You're an institution <laughs> oh, at stop our it. shows, Scotty. Stop it, stop it. We can't have a Karen show without oh, Scotty. Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> but another thing that you did last year, and it was very successful, is Van Safe. And we have had mm-hmm. you on the podcast. Tell us a bit about Van Safe and what it all means. Yeah, so Van Safe is an educational program for owners of recreational vehicles in Queensland. And it has a couple of components. We do weight and towing masterclasses with the great team from yeah. Talking Towing. Yep. And we do inspections from time to time. And we have our YouTube, which is a lot of educational videos and everything. So, And the best thing about it, it's all free. Yeah, I know. That's the biggest thing. So when you, how do people get onto the YouTube and all that, Chrissy? Where do you find all that? Yeah, so you can be linked up through the Caravan in Queensland website. That's Caravan qld.com.au. Lovely, mm. lovely. So February, March, we're good. And, and it looking like middle of the year, there'll be a little bit more activity through with you guys. With yeah, yeah, that's right. From about July onwards, we're actually planning a little bit of a Western Queensland trip. So okay. don't want to reveal too much no. about it at this stage. But, but yeah, it's on the cards. And, and explain what will happen at these little, so let's say, for example, Rocky. Now, it, I'm just picking this, plucking it out of the mm. air, but there will be little destinations. What, what happens if you're going to these different places? What can people expect? Oh, they can come along to a caravan weight and towing masterclass where the team from Talking Towing, yep. they run you through all those Frequently asked questions yep. that everyone has about towing and all the confusing jargon, yep. appliances and everything like that, safety yep. aspects. Yeah, everything that you could possibly want to know yep. about your caravan and your towing experience, yep. we can answer at these weight and towing masterclasses. And are people yeah. bringing their vans or not? You just turn up and get all the information and then go back and apply it? 
Well, because we usually hold them in our caravan in Queensland Caravan Park, yep. people are already there with their yeah, vans. Perfect. So. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All makes sense. All makes sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And what about you? Like we're talking about travelling, you were upgrading, am I right, your van or you were looking at well, getting a bigger one? Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, we will be looking at getting a bigger one uh, probably later in the year. Yep. And we're eyeing off our pre-retirement van, so that's oh. what we're looking for, oh. something a little bit bigger, a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. And have you got a, have you got a bucket list trip, Chrissy? Where have you got anywhere planned you'd like to take the van and the and the dogs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really want to go over to Western Australia, so yeah, wow. we'll take the dogs out there. There's so many things that sort of undiscovered over there that I've never been and visited before. So Lovely. that's where we'd like to go. Yeah. Perfect. And people listening wanting to know when when and where the trade shows are this year. What's the website we can all jump on and have a little look and check it out. CaravanQLD.com.au. Oh, I've said that a few times on a voiceovers, haven't I? For more information yeah. and travel free on train, <laughs> CaravanQLD.com.au. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and as you said, and also you can catch up on all the van safe where you're going to be throughout the whole of 2024. Yes, and yeah. you can actually register through that website as well if you're interested in coming along to one of the master classes or maybe lovely. an inspection, yeah, that's lovely. the best way to get there. Mm. Good on you, Chrissy. Always a pleasure to chat, and we will see you at a few of these trade shows, if not on the road at Safe. Yes, you will. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks, Chrissy. Bye. Oh, it's that time of the podcast where you get your napkin out, your little knife and fork, and you just think about eating what this man cooks. Harry Fisher, fired a fork. How are you, my friend? I'm going very well, Scotty, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good now. You've got, you've been busy, you've been here, you've been everywhere, oh. man. Your profile, you're going through yeah, the roof. Mate. Have you had a chance to just stop and breathe and just go, whoo, because we're past Chrissy now, but you leading into Chrissy and just after you were busy. Oh, mate, I've, I haven't done that. I used to be, I used to be corporate and I used to yeah. travel a lot for work yes. and I've never spent more time on a plane than since I left my corporate <laughs> yeah. job, which I didn't think would be the case, oh, but it, no, it was good. It's been good and it's been good to have a little bit of time off and spend it with the kids. Yeah. So oh, it's nice. You are, you're popular, see? So it's good to be popular. See, one, as, what, what's our motto? For, peacock one day, feather dust to the next. So while we're going, okay, <laughs> we'll keep going. But mate, what are we, yeah. what are we cooking over the coals today? Mate, I thought I'd run you through a a recipe that I, I love doing because it gives me two meals. And you know what it's like on the road. Sometimes you just want to be able to knock up something really easy the next day with a bit of leftovers. Yes. So this is a this is a good double whammy. Now, it's a steak and mushroom sauce. Yeah. And the mushroom sauce is the crucial bit here. So the we all like a steak and sauce. You go to a pub and they Upset. tell you what it's it's the way to do it. <laughs> so so what I do is I, I cook the steaks, which is just the normal way. So yep. in my case, I just grill them as hot as I can over the fire, get them to nice, medium, rare, slice them up, and, and they're all good to go. Yep. But before I do that, before I do that, I like to make a little mushroom sauce, but I make heaps of it. So uh-huh. much, much, much too much for the steak. Yep. You start off with a bit of butter, yep. and you fry up an onion and a piece of garlic, yep. and just get them so they're just fragrant, going a little bit translucent, looking good. And you add in uh, a couple of cups of mushrooms, Sliced up, so just whatever mushrooms you like, but throw them in there and you want to let them fry up for a while until they release a bit of their liquid. And as soon as they release that liquid, you'll see them, they go tense and tense, and then all of a sudden there's liquid in the pan. So chuck 300 mils of thickened cream in there. Your UHT stuff, your long life stuff's not a problem because it's not really the star of the show. Throw that in there and let it reduce for about 10 minutes. Now we've got so much sauce here and it's way, way too much for the steak, as I said. So you throw a few tablespoons on top of your steak and leave the rest of it, put it back in your fridge or your esky or whatever, and that is unreal the next day over some pasta. Oh. So you mix in and you get a creamy mushroom yes. pasta. And if you, want to, if you want to get extra fancy, keep a little bit of the steak. Cold steak in your pasta, unreal. Stop it's it. such a good meal. Stop yeah. it. Oh, that'll be another little recipe I'm doing on Creek to Coast. Don't you worry. <laughs> and simple. <laughs> and simple, Harry. <laughs> Yeah, mate. I, I, I like to keep it simple yeah. and I like to have as many long life ingredients as in there as possible. Beautiful, so beautiful. So the old UHG cream doesn't even need to be in the fridge. Just have it in your box and it's all good to go. Great, mate. Now, people, obviously, we've said it all the podcasts throughout. They can YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, just fight a fork, Harry Fisher. That's the way to go. And we can actually watch these recipes being done by you. You sure can, mate. And of course, they're in, they're in the book. This is it's funny, I, I forgot the rest. I forgot the um, ingredients, and I was like, oh, shit, I better just quickly grab my book. <laughs> yeah, I so love it. it I, I can tell you for a fact that it's page 100. Oh, there you go. God, love you. <laughs> and you can get the book, Everything Caravan and Camping website. Jump on there. There's books there. 
Actually, perfect if you're going to be heading away cooking over the coals. Harry, it's always a pleasure, mate. It's always a popular part of the podcast. We will catch up again oh, good soon. Good to chat to you, Scotty. Thank you, mate. See you, mate. Have a good one. Now, don't forget to head to the Everything Caravan and Camping podcast page at everythingcaravancamping.com.au. Sign up to the newsletter for your chance to win a $50 voucher to spend on the ECC marketplace. To catch up on all of our ECC episodes, go to where you get your podcasts, or it's pretty simple. Head over to the website, everythingcaravancamping.com.au. Let's go. That time of the podcast, we are profiling ECC parks and we're going to go back and revisit one that in my opinion because I live at Markua that I drive past 24-7 at Coolum on the beach I don't think I've ever seen so many lineups to get into your park. It must, is it full? It's almost full. It probably runs at about 85% occupancy all year round. All year round, and then holidays. Holidays is 100%. So as an average yeah. occupancy, it's a really busy park. There's 238 sites. Is, is there really? Yeah, yeah. and it, it's really busy and really sought after. So all caravans or is it cabins? Six cabins. Okay. And then it's caravan and, and multi-purpose sites, so yeah. for tents and camper trailers and the like. Uh, and it, it's right on the water. Yeah. It's a narrow park but it's a long park. Yeah. And so we sit on top of the sand dune and there's portions of the park you get ocean views. Yeah, wow. And it is spectacular. Yeah, you've got a patrolled you surf got, beach right there. You've got surf. two, you've got the surf club and yeah. then you've got another set of flags purely at where the entrance to the park is oh, off wow. the beach. So nine months of the year, we have two sets of flags that you can go and swim in. Yeah. You can go to the surf club, or you can go straight out from the park. And you've got the lifeguard out front of the park. We've got the lifeguard oh. tower. It is all there. And then you go north from the lifeguard tower because yep. it's a pet-friendly park. Yeah, okay. You can take your dog on the beach. Yeah, okay. And you can go all the way up to Stumas Creek yep. and the dog can have a swim and they can have a great time. Because off leash section yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah. And you can go and socialise dogs. They get up there and... And really, Coolum is probably one of the most dog-friendly communities on yeah. the sunny coast. Yeah. The, the shops have water bowls out. The dogs are welcome. There's shops all the way across the road. That I was going to say, so park. for breakfasts, lunches and dinners, yeah. it's Coffee shops. literally 50 metres. If that. Yeah. And you've got McDonald's for the kids, if yeah. that's what they want. You've got yeah. the local coffee shop. You've got Thai. Surf you've got club. Surf club. Yeah. You've got the hotel. You've also yeah. got the takeaway chicken. You've got yeah. burger places. It's everything. Yeah. It's everything. You've got Coles. So you literally would pull up there and not even drive the car. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd yeah. go there. And I know, I mean, living there as well, for those that are keen to wet a line, you get your normal summer, or all year round, you're whiting, your dart, you're flathead. In winter, you get a few brim, they get a few tarler. It, it is a very good fishing stretch. It is. And one of the best things I love about Coolum, if you come in from the motorway and you come down the hill, yeah, over as you the, come yeah. over the hill, on a good sunny day, the turquoise water is like looking at the water in North Queensland. Yeah. It is magical. And big camp kitchen there? Yeah, yeah. We've got a number of different barbecues. Then we've got yeah. a massive pavilion so people can use it for different things. Yeah. We have different events. We have discos and we have dinners and yeah. we have people with pizzas coming in, making pizzas. So we always try and put something together. Yeah. And it, it is. The people have to actually be involved. And we do have a sense of community out there. So people yeah. just love coming yeah. to Coolum. And, uh, mate, I, as I said at the start of this, I know how busy it is. So if you need to be booking... Would I, is it fair to say months in advance? Like, yeah, especially for the summer space. Like yeah. in the winter space, we get a lot of people from down south in winter. Yeah. And summer, we get a lot of people from 300 kilometre radius. So really Brisbane. We're yeah. so lucky to be so close to a, a yeah. metropolitan like Brisbane. And yeah, it's busy. It yeah. is busy. So get in, get online. As yeah. soon as you work out when you want to come, let us know and we will do the best we can. There you go. Coolum, ECC, the holiday. What's it, what's it called? Coolum Holiday Park? Coolum Beach Holiday Park. There you go. Nice and easy. Jace, always a pleasure, mate. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> And in terms of parks, there's 65 throughout Australia and New Zealand. Now, if you head to everythingcaravancamping.com.au, you can purchase an ECC Parks Family Parks Travel Reward Membership. Now, it's only 30 bucks. Now, this membership, the things it gives you is, is crazy. 10% off your stay at all of the ECC Parks and Family Parks destinations throughout Aussie here and over in New Zealand. You get discounts and deals while you travel with their rewards. You get the third night free. You get voucher. You get an entry card to their frequent camper competition. So for 30 bucks, you, you can't go wrong. So be sure to jump onto the website and check it out. Let's go. Well, that's it for this week. Hopefully you've enjoyed our podcast because I know I've had an absolute blast. Now, we'd love to hear from you, our listeners. We want to get you onto the show. If you're on a trip at the moment, you're planning a trip, if you've got any questions about anything we've covered, 
We want to hear from you. Now, you can email us at podcast at everythingcaravancamping.com.au. Be safe out on the roads. See you next time. Come on. Let's go. They've got everything. Everything caravan and camping. They've got everything.